road trip. Where we're headed to today is to Monroe County, Kentucky. It is located on the very southern end of, of uh, central Kentucky. We're going to visit the Old Mulkey Meeting House, which is the oldest log cabin church within the state. Here we are at the Old Mulkey Meeting House. This log church was constructed in 1804 by members of the community. It started out as the Mills Creek Baptist Church. First start to walk down the path that leads to the uh, Old Mulkey Meeting House. Notice that the very first stone has been carved to look exactly like the state of Kentucky. pulpit from where the uh, pastor of the church would deliver his sermon. You can see down below we also have the mourner's bench which was set up as a, a place for sinners to come and pray. This church plays a, a big role in the history of a lot of the churches in this area. Many people don't realize that the church here began as a Creek Baptist church. Most of the information about the congregation comes from the book of records which contains the church covenant list of members of minutes of the monthly business meetings. The first day was dated September 11, 1798. That day, the church met at Harlan's house. By the October meeting, the first smaller meeting house had been completed. Mill Creek Baptist had a distinguished congregation. Many of the men had fought in the American Revolution. Benjamin Gist's father had served as a guide for George Washington. Hannah Boone, Stuart Pennington, was the sister of explorer Daniel Boone. Each of these individuals would play an important role in the growth of this community. When they met for business on April 12, 1804, a seven-member committee was assigned to oversee the construction of a new larger meeting house, the one you sit in today. John Mulkey was a gifted speaker and well-educated for the time. He became a popular circuit preacher. He traveled hundreds of miles to preach the gospel. He was torn between the need to lead the congregation at Mill Creek towards what he now believed was right and a need for peace in the church. Eventually, his newfound convictions won out, and he presented them to the congregation. Once John had crossed that path, there was no turning back. The congregation that he had loved and nurtured began to turn on him. They tried him on three separate occasions for heresy. After the third trial, it became evident that the discord would take a permanent toll on the congregation. John knew something had to be done. On the second Saturday of November 1809, John Mulkey addressed the congregation, proposing that they bear with each other and live in peace. And it was made apparent that it could not happen. John then proposed, if we cannot live in peace, that we agree to part in peace. Tradition holds that he asked all that believe as I do to follow him out of the western door. When the count was made, about three times as many people had followed John. John and his followers kept the meeting house. The group struggled to find the perfect name for the church, but the impact of the split was so great that the church became known as Mulkey's Meeting House. They continued to meet here until 1856 when, for reasons unknown, they began meeting in the basement of the courthouse. When the last of the original members had died, the remaining ones joined the Tompkinsville Church of Christ. The smallest group, the ones that went out the eastern door, built a new church just a short distance. 
While there are a lot of Revolutionary War veterans buried on uh, the site, there are also some Civil War veterans as well. This one here was from the 9th Kentucky. Two of the most famous people that are uh, in the graveyard here are relatives of uh, one of the greatest explorers that our nation has seen, and that is Daniel Boone. Behind me here are the graves of Squire and Hannah Boone. One thing that should be noted about these grave sites is that the monument for Squire Boone, uh, Hannah's brother, is not necessarily a grave marker as much as it is a memorial. According to one of the plaques here, that uh, this is just as a memorial for Squire Boone. The trail that we're on now is one that will actually lead back to relatives of Stonewall Jackson. Another interesting point about this area, for those of you all uh, who study the Civil War, is this is the home of Morgan's Raiders. This area, Monroe County, is where they were based out of. Here we can see the headstone of a couple of cousins of Stonewall Jackson. This is uh, kind of back in the woods from the actual church itself, but it's just a uh, very, very short hike. And it's real nice to come out through this if you're into hiking and stuff, and the short trails especially. It's a very easy trail that will lead you back through this area and bring you right back here to where this grave is. On the grounds down here at Old Mulkey, there are several places that are great for picnics. You see a couple of the tables behind me here. So it's just a great place down in here for families, for uh, just anyone interested in history. But uh, anyways guys, thanks for watching the video and uh, 
I would appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up, drop me any comments down below. 